And I would like to recommend, nominate a Mark. To start off the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting, Mark Hyman was made the chair and Michael Pierce the vice chair as the board agreed to reorganize. I just want to say that I think Mark is uh, ideally suited to do this. He's committed. Uh, he has a good base in the procedure and a commitment to the uh, board, and I think he'll be a terrific chairman. I agree. The ZBA then focused on the main topic of interest, the appeal of CVS moving into 61 Main Street. 61 Main Street was, of course, the former home of Colella's. Um, but there are really two legal issues that the board has to address. Uh, perhaps counsel will tell me there's more than two, but there's two at the, at the outset, I think. Um, the first is standing and the, and the proper appellants, and the second is the merits and whether this truly is a, a health services facility or a retail establishment, um, and thus the building permit was either improper or proper. The public hearing started off with a debate on whether latecomers to the appeal, Hopkinton drug owner Dennis Cates, and resident Jason Mahone should be allowed to join after the only abutter on the list of appellants, Mike Patel, dropped from the appeal. So what's happened in the court sometimes is that the filing itself is defective because, as it turns out, a plaintiff who brings the action may lack standing. And the way that's been treated in the courts is that when a, when a plaintiff is found to lack standing, the complaint has been amended. The courts have allowed the complaint to be amended to add a brand new plaintiff who does have standing to cure what would have been determined to be a jurisdictional defect. After hearing both sides, the board moved the discussion to the issue at hand, whether CVS is a health services facility, which is not allowed in the downtown area, or if they are a retail facility, and would be allowed in the downtown area. The general retail use is merely accessory to the non-permitted principal pharmacy use. In other words, their, their argument is that we're not a health services facility, so we don't get bogged down in that quagmire. Um, but in any event, what we're proposing to install in that existing space is a retail store. And the pharmacy is simply an accessory to a principal retail use. And that's a fallacy. Because, as I'll point out, CVS, through its own filings, through its regulatory filings, through its advertising, through its marketing materials, through everything that I could find that talks about what CVS is, who CVS is, what they do, where they do it, when they do it, what they say in all, in all of their materials is, we are a health services facility. Uh, my name is Todd Brown. I'm a licensed pharmacist in Massachusetts. I've been licensed to practice for 30 years. As uh, Attorney Goldberg said, I'm the executive director of the Massachusetts Independent Pharmacists Association and have held that position for 18 years. I'm also a professor at Northeastern University in the School of Pharmacy, and I've been there for 26 years. It's very common for prescribers to call a pharmacy to ask for advice when prescribing medication. It's very common for pharmacists to contact the prescriber when there's a problem with the medication that they've prescribed. As a matter of fact, pharmacists are are responsible for doing this. If they don't do these services, if they don't evaluate the drug therapy, or if they don't educate the patient appropriately on the use of the medication, they're actually held liable for these. And so these are not services that you would think just a normal retail establishment uh, would provide. Hopkinton's assistant building inspector, Mike Shepard, argued that despite being a pharmacy, CVS is a retail facility. What do they do at pharmacies? Of course, they, they dispense drugs. That's, that's obvious. And whether CVS sells, you know, film and, and lipstick and batteries and hearing aids, it doesn't matter. They sell it all at retail. The package stores in town, they dispense booze. They're regulated by the Board of Selectmen and the ABCC, and they dispense the booze. There, it's a retail use. 
the types of services that may be provided by CVS Health as the parent organization, either online or at any of the other thousands of locations throughout the country, um, is not relevant. Crosspoint's lease is with CVS Pharmacy, Inc., not CVS Health. CVS Pharmacy, Inc. is a registered foreign corporation in Massachusetts, and, it for, and it's registered for the purpose of doing business as a retail pharmacy chain. And we provided, um, as Exhibit D to our memorandum, a copy of the 2000 annual report um, filed by CVS Pharmacy, Inc., which specifically lists there as its business purpose, retail pharmacy chain. 